Joe boy. He's a little shy, so just give him a second. He's got to come down some stairs. Here we go. Now, Joey, as you can see, is operated by three puppeteers. We have what we call the head, the heart, and the hind. Joey might wander around and get a little curious, but don't be, uh, <laughs> don't be shy. He'll, uh, we'll see if he, if, he, if he comes up and says hello. But as we're talking about that, as you can see here, mechanically, we have, this is Danny on the head here. And Danny is in control of, of Joey's head and his neck. And this rod that Danny is holding in his hand here has some levers that also control his ears, which are great indicators of, uh, of what Joey's feeling at any given time. Um, there he goes. And then the neck is connected here to the shoulders in the front of the horse where we have uh, Adam. And Adam is controlling the front two legs. He's in the position we call the heart. Um, Adam's, uh, Adam's control is over these front two legs and also Joey's breathing. Um, Joey's, uh, the, the body of Joey um, sits on top of Adam and, and kind of, uh, and, uh, hinges so that when Adam bends his legs and straightens his legs, the body of the horse will rise and fall, simulating the breath. Um, this is, of course, uh, a bit different than, than you know, a, a horse who breathes sort of the way we do with the diaphragm and expansion in the ribs, but um, it would be very difficult to see it, so what they did is they decided to make it very simple and very, um, uh, well, just straightforward, and so that it's very easily for you to see from a long distance away the rising and the falling, whereas if it was just expanding, from the ribs, it wouldn't quite be as easy to see. Um, and then moving straight back, we have, uh, we have Dana here on the hind of the horse. Dana's in control of the back two legs as well as, as, uh, as Joey's tail. And Joey's tail, as well as the breath, as well as the ears, are all emotional indicators of, of how Joey is, uh, is feeling. And uh, she actually works these two kind of bicycle brakes that uh, allow her to work the tail. One allows it to go up and down, and the other one allows it to go back and forth. And so she can get a good variety of different motion. Um, now, see, so Joey is made out of, uh, the, the, the body here is made out of cane, and then inside that cane, we have a, basically an aluminum frame that allows Joey to bear weight. We have riders in the show who at one point jump up on top of Joey, and many who are mounted on, on Joey and Topthorn, uh, the other horse. And, um, and so the people who get on the horse, that weight goes directly onto that aluminum frame and then directly onto the puppeteers underneath so that the the body of the horse doesn't actually take any of that weight. Um, and then the, the mane and the tail are